The Fox 10 Gulf Stream. This is Next Weather. All right, here's what we're tracking across the Gulf Coast region. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith with a heat situation still very extreme for tomorrow. We got an excessive heat warning over the western half of the forecast area. That's going to include Mobile, Clark County, Washington County, our Mississippi counties for a possible heat index in that warned area between 113 and 115. Elsewhere, we're not catching a break. We still have a heat advisory in effect. So what do you do? How do you deal with the extreme heat? Well, the impacts, how it affects us is you've got that increased risk for heat stroke and heat exhaustion, and it can limit what you're able to accomplish outside. Definitely dangerous for those who've had heat stroke before or are vulnerable to the heat and the way you can avoid all of this is just stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, drink water before you even go outside, stay ahead of the game and try and avoid outdoor activities by the midday and mid afternoon during peak heating. Try and get things done early and of course you want to check on folks and the pets really need extra water, fans, shade, get them inside during the hot part of the day. Temperatures today. Mobile Regional Airport at 99, downtown at 95, 98 today in Pensacola. So this is real. We're getting the heat and you're feeling it. And the forecast heat index for tomorrow afternoon, there's that possible 113 stuff. Leakesville, the Calvert area, and also Bay Minette at 110. Mobile up around 109 with that heat index and 110 in Pensacola. So a super hot day is expected for tomorrow. We could see a few pop-up showers this weekend, a little low end chance tomorrow afternoon and evening and a little better shot at it as we run the model forward here into Sunday and looking at Sunday we may see some storms along I-10 and then they'll advance inland but they could create some cloud cover which will shade us from the sun and the heat and make things a little easier for us. What about the very important beach forecast holiday weekend? It's a scorcher at the beach. We're seeing really light winds and uh, temperature around 92 degrees low risk of rip currents, which is good. The UV index, which is extreme. Definitely want to reapply sunscreen and I like where we're going with this rip current forecast currently showing a low risk through Sunday and Monday. Hopefully that will hold for the holiday weekend. We've had a lot of drownings lately. It'd be good to have some calm seas. One area of disturbed weather in the western Atlantic that we're watching for a very, very low probability of development, about a 10% probability of development there. Elsewhere, the tropics are quiet. Here's your forecast. Temperature at 98 degrees on Saturday, 96 on Sunday. Super hot, but backing off with the heat gradually into Monday and 4th of July on Tuesday. Even lower with the temps next week. We're getting a little more in the way of rain coming too Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So coming up next on Next Weather, Nicholas Herboso is here to break down that upper pattern. What's causing this heat wave? More on that coming up here with in-depth analysis here on Next Weather. <laughs> That's not a problem. The Fox 10 Storm Tracker Fleet, taking you live to more places, covering the Gulf Coast like no one else can. Unrivaled experience, unparalleled severe weather coverage. I think I need a bigger sandbox. All right, here on Next Weather, we're going to break down what's happening with this heat wave. We've had this nonstop heat pattern. It started in Texas. It moved our way. When's it going to go away and what's causing it? For more on that, here's meteorologist Nicholas Herboso. Nick? Well, yes, yeah, so we've been dealing with the heat dome. We've been talking about it all week and I wanted to break down. This is going to be a very weather nerdy presentation, so bear with me here, but it's going to be a fun one for us because I can break down what we were looking at to look and track this heat dome. So here it is. All it is is a ridge of upper level high pressure higher in the atmosphere and what it does is suppresses air down, causes heat building at the surface and very, very, very warm temperatures. We're going to start in the upper levels. We're at the jet stream level, 250 millibars, what we often refer to 
to it as. This is also at 34,000 feet and you see this big bump here in the jet stream. This ridge in the jet stream. High strong winds aloft in the atmosphere and represented here in the blue and below this high pressure, a ridge over here. This is at 34,000 feet. Now let's go down to 18,000 feet. Same thing. You notice we have clockwise spinning here. Big old H represented in the higher heights here in the red. That's essentially indicating high pressure aloft. What this is doing, this is compressing the atmosphere, pressing air down towards the surface, causing warming, preventing thunderstorms from developing, and that's what's been controlling our weather. A great way to see this is with the water vapor imagery. If you notice, I have the 500 millibar flow turned on here. So that upper level flow, you can see the clockwise spin of that upper level ridge, that upper level high pressure system. And notice at the surface, at the center of the ridge here, there's no thunderstorms around. No thunderstorms around, like I said, compressing the atmosphere. Thunderstorms go up when they form and really they're struggling here. If you notice, this is where the jet stream was at 250 millibars. Take a look at some of these thunderstorms. You notice how they're getting blown in the wind there and you can see that very easily. That's where the jet stream is and a lot of thunderstorms have been moving around the ridge of high pressure because they can't go through it because it's just too strong. Now what about the surface pattern? Well I'm bringing in the map from the National Weather Service and all the Weather Prediction Center analysis. So this is at the surface. So at the ground what do we have? High pressure at the surface 1019 millibars. That's high pressure and you can see it here and notice the wind clockwise around this. So it would be indicating, and what this surface map is indicating for us really, is that over the next couple of days, we might have some southerly flow that develops around this thing. Another thing that you can see on this map, you see this little surface front here. Looks like that's where some of those thunderstorms were going around the ridge of high pressure. So where is this thing going? So we're going back up to 500 millibars, back up to the upper level pattern. We can see the heat dome there. Notice the reds start to go away. Less compression of the atmosphere, less heat building at the surface, and thankfully that pattern starts to change. Also notice we might have another ridge of high pressure that may develop kind of over the Gulf of Mexico. It might introduce a little bit of southerly flow, a little bit more moisture out there. But for the time being, the forecast is that temperatures drop over the next seven days as we get towards 4th of July, temperature around 92 degrees. We're going to have a full update on that extended outlook with Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith right after this break. New to the Fox 10 Weather App, your 24-hour radar forecast. Be the first to see how precipitation is going to affect your plants across the Gulf Coast. Detailed hour by hour, the 24-hour radar forecast on the Fox 10 Weather App. Plus the latest breaking news with the Fox 10 News App. Got him, Bob. Stay alert with Fox 10. Prime time is Fox 10 time. The latest on the night's top stories are first on Fox 10 News at 9. Wrap up your day informed and ready for the morning. All right, here's your seven day forecast and we do see some relief ahead beyond especially 4th of July, but really gradually into the middle of the week next week. Our rain chances will go up some our daytime highs will lower to closer to what we would see normally. So it's really been a tough one with this heat wave and it'll be hard to get it completely out of here. But we do see some relief and look at long range with your 10 day forecast. Notice some lower 90s may roll into the weekend beyond the holiday weekend here for 4th of July as the summertime mugginess will continue. At least we may catch a break in the long range. Thanks for joining us here on Next Weather.